Scooby-Gooies, and today we'll be continuing Junji Ito Maniac, Japanese Tales of the Macabre. Okay, last time on Junji, we had two stories. One was Layers of Terror, and one the other one was The Thing That Drifted Ashore. Okay, both these episodes were fantastic in my eyes, and they were both super gross and interesting. And they both concluded themselves... Pro well, no, actually. Well, yeah, kind of. The first one more was concluded and it ended perfectly, in my opinion. The second one kind of did as well, but the fact that it was literally only four minutes or something, it felt like it wasn't concluded, but at the same time, it was. Everything that... You know, I mean, we found out everything that was going on, so... Yeah, they both ended good, so... Last episode was good, so... Um, I have no idea what we're about to see, so yeah. I'm gonna start this in three, two, one, web, bam. What do you think, Michiko? Michiko? Suchiko? These names, stop! I gotta I got write them down. Three thousand yen? What is that, thirty bucks? He's a handsome devil. It's Yamazaki. Yamazaki. Yamasaki or Yamazaki? I don't know. Excuse me. Yamazaki? Yamazaki. Yeah? Wait, you're from the photo club, right? You remember me. Yes, my name's Izumisawa. Should I go? Yeah, it's kind of a shame. You should turn this into a business. I can't do that. You Who's that know? sus lady in the corner? Hey, maybe I'm tripping. She looks familiar. I don't know why. Tomi. Wasn't she in Junji Ito collection? I don't remember anything about her. But that name sound and she looks familiar. Oh, she's so pretty. Tsukiko isn't selling anyone pictures. She's simply showing them to me, right? Absolutely. I wouldn't sell them or anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure, sure. I heard all of you talking. Hey, Taiichi, take a look inside Miss Izumisawa's bathroom. Are you... Isn't that her property? Hold on. Okay, that's kind of messed up. Here they are, Miss Tomie. You have a whole bunch of them. Get those back. Tomie? They're calling her Tomi A, it's not just Tomi. Or whatever. Normally I would report such behavior to a teacher as part of the disciplinary committee. But I'll keep these and let you go for now. Come on, Taiichi. Himata. We're done here. Wait, isn't she in the opening? Isn't she like the main person of Junji Ito? I feel right. Oh snap. Yamazaki. Sorry to interrupt your lunch. Hey, that's so what's up? Can I ask That's cool. Personal? Uh, it's from like three episodes ago, right? I guess you could call it a favor. It's about a photograph. Sucks. How am I involved in this situation? Why do I have to be the Why are you holding the camera like that? It's kind of dangerous. of me as you want, okay? Feel free to print them up and scatter them around campus. <laughs> you sure? I'm up for it if you are. No. Be my guest. Oh, so majestic. Oh, these are great. I must admit, you really are pretty. There are boys out there who'd likely pay over... A hundred that what is that like a thousand dollars, bro, for a photo? Is that a teacher? Mr. 
He heard that whole convo, didn't he? Was this a setup? No way! Wait, she made it sound like they're working on that together. That could be the case, right? I mean, it's pretty whack. Color print, okay. Oh, they're not done done yet, okay. Yo! <laughs> Gross, dude, I don't understand. Oh, she's destroying the photos? I mean, I don't know. I would, wouldn't you want to show her? Oh, she's not strong. She's just throwing them all away. Oh, wait, what? Oh, wait, this... Oh, oh, she went to the school and threw them all. Does Tomie see these? Oh, she's unaware? Hey, boys. I have a very important favor to ask of you. She could see the look on your face. You're not gonna question this? There's, like, aliens, like, de demonic demons coming out of the side of her head. What? You have to hide? It's the guys in the disciplinary committee. I overheard them talking with Tomie earlier. Her body was trembling. They're coming to find you and kill you. Go to a teacher or call the cops, bro. Look at these suckers are really gonna kill a girl in the school. I mean, look at them. They, something's wrong with them, obviously. And the teachers seem to be in on it too, maybe, right? So I'm gonna go kill her. Bro! Oh, I know that hurt. Go to the t no teachers are in on it too from earlier. Call the cops. Why don't you just tell them? You literally almost got killed in school. Perfect timing. Yeah, leave. So she's home alone. Bruh. Okay, wait a second. Is she in a dorm room? I don't think so, right? She's in the ha Call the cops. To kill you? <laughs> Who said such a thing? Bro. Ridiculous. Yamazaki. He said it, then tried to choke me to death. He's under your spell. No, please, I'm not a witch. Are you gonna mention the, the photos? Really? I was born in France, too. My family lived in a big, beautiful house in the center of Barcelona. Of course, it's okay. a vanity design. Mother loved me. May she rest in peace. She was a famous actress. Grandfather was an artist and close friends with Picasso. There's a photo in my Is this cap? Oh, yeah, this is Cap. Picasso. We all know what Picasso does, right? It's trying to get her to go to their house so they can kill her. Sketchy. It does. Yeah, for real. Yeah. 
far more likely that you're just some sort of pathological liar. It's a form of illness, meaning you're out of your mind. Those photos I took and scattered managed to capture your hideous true form. Okay, they kind of mentioned it. Like, bro. Are you kidding me? Literally. Is she... Okay, they keep turning the camera. Is it, like, recording? I don't think that's a recording type camera, though, is it? That was her entire head. And it's all in her room. They're gonna make it, they're gonna blame it on her. Dude, why are they're taking this so well? They're gonna walk out in a transparent bag with a head. Is the body moving? Oh, it's just leaving? Yo, this music going hard, though. Alright, this is... Why is everyone taking everything that's happening so... Well, no, <laughs> no, you cannot end it like that. Okay, this, this one is bothering me. How everyone was taking everything so well in this. Okay, she took photos of Tomie seeing a face coming off her face. Like, there's like an entity growing out of the side of her head. She doesn't even question it. Just throws the photos. They see two suckas cutting off Tomie's head in her room. Blood's all over the walls and everything. They walk out with a transparent bag with the head. They don't say anything or care. Tomie's body's there. Grows a head. Gets up. Walks away. Laughing. Maniacally. She gets up. Uncuts herself from being tied up for one. And says, oh. I don't know what's real or not. I, I might as well clean the blood on my wall. Tomie is the one that's like in the opening, right? Like, isn't she like the the face of Junji Ito? Like the head of it, basically. You know what I'm saying? When you when everyone usually thinks of Junji Ito, it's this person that they think of, right? Because I mean, she seems to be like everywhere, right? So what we find out from Tomie is she has the ability to control people, obviously. So much so that she can get people to kill others for... You know what I'm saying? Like, she'd be like, yo, go kill that person. And without hesitation, they'll just go do it. 
So she has, obviously she has some powers of some sort. There's a head, obviously she's got powers. Her head got cut off. A head is growing back and she's walking away. So, yeah. Okay, this one, I really enjoy it. But... I almost feel like, okay, once again, by the way, you saw that painting in the school. That was the picture, that was a picture of the house from Library Vision, by the way. I think. So that's cool. It's another instance of where the show is in the same universe with every other tale that happens. They're all in the same universe, at least. Okay, Sukiko, our main character. Is she... Is she a sociopath or what? Like, is there just something wrong with her? I know this sounds weird. Like, you're like, why am I saying that? But like, so okay, no there has to be something wrong with Sukiko right because first of all if she had people come and try to kill her then she literally got strangled by Yamazaki almost died then she goes home doesn't tell anyone she's just gonna keep it a secret that she was literally almost strangled to death in her school then Tomie has a head oh, Wait, before all of that, she sees photographs of Tomie with a, like, a demon growing out of the side of her head in the photos. She doesn't even question it. Just gives it to the students, or, like, what? And then after that, then she gets almost strangled to death. Doesn't say anything, or doesn't seem to care all that much. She's just quiet in her room. Doesn't call the cops or nothing, or tell her mom. Then Tomie comes over. We find out Tomie is a pathological liar. Hardcore seeing her dad's friends, what or was friends with Picasso. She like lived in Spain or something in like a, a giant mansion or something like that. They moved to France or just a bunch of nonsense. And obviously at first I was like, whoa, that's kind of cool. But then I realized, wait a second. She's just trying to get her, she's trying to get Sukiko to go to her house so they can like kill her or something. I don't know. But then she has her goons come over. Wait, all of this happened though because Sukiko said like... Mentioned words or described Tomie with like... Not so kind like words such as like, what was it like hideous and like a liar and stuff like that. And because of that, like the ugly side of her came out. Like, literally, a head was, like, growing out of her. Then she had her goons cut her head off. But then at first, when they, like, literally swung a, like, a butcher knife on at her head, she's like, ow, that kind of hurts. It's still my head, you know? Like, bro, how are you even conscious right now? Like, they literally are swinging a, like, butcher knife literally at her head. And she's, like, barely even, like, seems to be struggling with the pain. Then they cut her head off. And they don't seem to care all that much. And then they walk away with her head in a transparent, like, shopping bag. Where are they going? I guess they're going to burn her head? I don't know. Then the body starts moving, growing another head, laughing, and then walks away. And then Sukiko doesn't seem to be phased at all that, like, she literally doesn't seem to care all that much. And she's like, oh, okay, I, I guess I should start cleaning that blood off my wall. Like, I know she's like, I don't even know what was real or not. Like, I could be hallucinating or something like that. But, like, if you're going to clean, like, a gallon of blood off your wall, obviously what you just saw happened. And she doesn't seem to be phased, like, at all. And where's Tomie going? I wish I could see more of her. Like, I feel like this could almost be, like, I could have a part two of this. Especially the way they ended it. Like, so much could still happen after this. And it's like, it's kind of confusing too, because Tomi was allowing Sukiko to take photos of her. Obviously to get her caught. But even after she got caught, I mean, she still had the photos. So she sent them out. But then, then, but then Tomi was like, what the? As if she wasn't aware that the photos were going to pick up, like, the 
demons coming out of the side of her head. So then she was trembling and then told people to go kill her. Like, I, I don't even know. Is it to, like, cover the fact that she knows? But she doesn't even... I mean, Sukiko doesn't even seem to care of the fact that there's literally... I mentioned this like 15 times at this point, but the photos. She's like not phased at all by what she's seeing, really. And after she is for like a split second, she just like doesn't care. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not going crazy, right? I really want... I remember I've seen the Junji Ito collection. I'm pretty sure I've watched all of it. But for some reason, I can't remember anything about this character. Like, I don't even remember what it was about. And I remember the other one. What was it? Uh, Koichi? Or something like that? I, well, it was Koichi, right? No, it was Suichi. Suichi was the one that had the... Suichi's the one that has the nails in his mouth. He's also like a pretty popular character in the Junji Ito universe. And I didn't remember him all that much either in that. I mean, it has been like a long time. But I'm just trying to... I almost want to go back and watch Junji Ito Collection... And, like, kind of see... Because I, I remember Tomiya was in that one, too, right? And I don't remember what it was about at all. So it's like, maybe I should watch that and see... Because Tomiya is... She's a very interesting character. Like, like, literally what we've just seen. Like, she has powers. Her head's growing back. There's, like, entities growing out of her head. Like, I don't know what's going on. I don't know. But I guess the whole fact you can just chalk it up to the fact that she has powers and that she's like maybe numbed all the people around her to not caring so much of what they just saw. Something like that. Maybe her powers influence Sukiko to make her not care. Like that's the only explanation I can think of. Otherwise, how was she? How was she not freaking out? After everything that literally a corpse just regrew a head, laughed, and walked out of the room. And she doesn't seem to care. <laughs> Alright. I'm done. So, this was epic. And I do want to see more Tomie, bro. I like her. She seems cool. And she's a, she has a quite a interesting... There's some, something with Junji Ito. When he designs certain characters... Like, they, I don't know. She's very, she has a very interesting look. I like it. So, yeah. I'm in here. I hope you guys enjoyed. And thanks for watching.